This time, the African continent is becoming more and more organized than any other year whilst others are fighting. So don't be surprised if an African country wins this year's World Cup because Ghana has just launched a national African continental free trade area policy framework and action plan. And this is like a Bible that will help and guide Ghanaian business owners to export some of their made in Ghana products to other African countries. This trajectory of events should inform member states of the readiness of Africa to harness the full benefits of economic integration. The President is happy to be part of today's launch of the National AFCFTFA Policy Framework and Action Plan for boosting Ghana's trade with Africa. African countries cannot overcome the current economic challenges occasioned by the incidents of the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war if we do not develop measures to improve the productive capacities of the private sector and increase intra-African trade. So in this video, we would like to share with you why Ghana has launched this National African Continental Free Trade Area Policy Framework and Action Plan and its economic benefit to the good people of Ghana and our beautiful continent, Mama Africa. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for liking. Now let's get into it. One of the main challenges affecting Africans' industrialization drive is the lack of access to expanded markets. Even though some of our African locally made products are now going international, but it is not enough. Yeah, because the world has a population of about 8 billion people. And out of the 8 billion, 1.4 billion are we the Africans, which makes Africa the second largest and second most populous continent on the earth after eight Asia, which has 4.6 billion. Europe has just about 745 million. North America has about 504 million. South America has 438 million. Central America also has about 51 million. Oceania has about 45 million. And the Caribbean has 44 million. So in terms of numbers, we are far ahead and we don't need to chase any other continent for market. That is why in the year 2018 the african union established the african continental free trade area which brought about 55 african countries to trade among ourselves it has been a long journey difficult and long but uh, we had visionaries uh, when we created the, the organization of african unit in 1963 uh, president kuruma of ghana made a clarion call africa must unite for us, the African Continental Free Trade Area, of course, is a flagship project of Agenda 2063, but more than that, it is, um, it's an instrument for solidarity and it's an instrument for um, connection between African people and different, and, and basically dismantling at the borders and the barriers that are there because um, there are great opportunities for goods to move more efficiently, for services as well as people. So I think that for us, it's a, it's a very important lever for achieving multiple objectives. On 1st January 2021 was the day the African Continental Free Trade Area officially began and its secretariat is based in Accra, Ghana. So if you think that there is nothing going on and it is just an implementation as we used to see in Africa, then I'm here to tell you that a lot, I mean a lot of things are going on. Many African countries are constructing tens of thousands of kilometers of roads and railway networks for easy movement of people and goods across the African continent. Example is the Lagos to Abidjan Corridor Highway, which is a six-lane motorway. And this road will connect some of the largest and most economical dynamic cities in Africa, which are Abidjan, Accra, Cotonou, Lome, and Lagos. And Ghana is also constructing a standard gate railway line between Tema and Mpakadan, all the way to Burkina Faso and other African countries. A lot of similar projects 
soldiers are going on in the south, north, central and east of the African continent. So that is why Ghana has launched a national African continental free trade area policy framework and action plan that will help and guide Ghanaian business owners to export made in Ghana products to other African countries. The policy framework will not only help Ghanaians to export to other African countries, it will also empower Ghanaians local businesses to engage in export which will ultimately boost local economic activities, growth, jobs and earnings. Ghana's Information Minister Honorable Kodju Opon Nkrumah spoke on behalf of President Anab Dankwa Ekufuado and this is what he said. First, let me express the President's regrets for his inability to be here in person for this very important occasion. It clashes with other engagements of his, but he's asked me to share with you his thoughts on a day like this. At the extraordinary summit of African Union Heads of State in the capital city of Rwanda in March 2018, President Akufuado joined 54 of his colleague heads of state to sign the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. That historic event signaled to the global community, particularly the private sector operators in Africa, that the continent is ready to usher in a new age of economic integration anchored on improving intra-African trade through the removal of barriers to cross-border trade and the dismantling of tariffs. Following that historic event in Kingali, the African Union Commission, working in close collaboration with the AU Council of Ministers of Trade, has achieved significant milestones in operationalizing the AF-CFTFA agreement which include the launch of the operational phase of the AF-CFTFA in Niamey, Niger in July 2019, the establishment of the AF-CFTFA Secretariat with Accra as the host capital in August 2020, and the launch of Start of Trading under the AF-CFTFA in January 2021. In addition to the above, 43 member states have currently ratified the AFCFTFA agreement and deposited their instrument of ratification with the AFCFTA Secretariat, while provisional schedules of tariff concessions of 29 countries have been verified and accepted for trade in goods. This trajectory of events should inform member states of the readiness of Africa to harness the full benefits of economic integration. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the President is happy to be part of today's launch of the National AFCFTFA Policy Framework and Action Plan for boosting Ghana's trade with Africa. This launch clearly indicates that the Government of Ghana is continuously positioning the private sector operators in Ghana to trade under the AFCFTA agreement. The National AFCFTA Policy Framework and Action Plan is geared towards the harmonization of relevant policies, programs, laws, and regulations to boost the productive capacities of the private sector in Ghana, particularly the MSMEs, to harness the full benefits of the AFCFTA. A successful implementation of the action plan will boost the capacities of the Ghanaian private sector to take advantage of market access opportunities in Africa to promote made in Ghana goods and services. The Minister of Trade and Industry, under your leadership, Minister Chairman Ting, has led the establishment of the relevant structures for the implementation of the various AFCFTA protocols in Ghana. This includes the establishment of the National AFCFTA Coordinating Office with the responsibility to coordinate the implementation of Ghana's AFCFTA strategy. And colleagues, at this point, let me ask you to join me to applaud the ministry and the agencies for the work done so far. <clears throat> Honorable ministers, ladies and gentlemen, it is significant to note that our national AFCFTA policy framework and action plan was derived from the work of the national structures put in place by the Ministry of Trade and Industry to advance our national interest in the continental project. They include the Interministerial Committee, the National Steering Committee on the AFCFTA, and the technical working groups 
on boosting trade with Africa. Honorable Minister for Trade and Industry, the President has asked me to commend the extensive technical work undertaken by these committees, especially the seven technical working groups comprising representatives from the private sector, senior government officials, and other technical experts. Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, African countries cannot overcome the current economic challenges occasioned by the incidents of the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war if we do not develop measures to improve the productive capacities of the private sector and increase intra-African trade. The effective operationalization of the AFCFTA agreement in Ghana would significantly boost Ghana's balance of trade, stimulate investment and innovation, diversify exports, improve food security, foster structural transformation, enhance economic growth, and above all, provide jobs for the Ghanaian youth. To the Ministry of Trade and Industry and the Ghana Coordinating Office of the AFCFTA, this framework, as brilliantly as it is structured, will not mean much if you do not implement the programs under it with speed, effectiveness, and commitment. It is your successful implementation of the programs under this framework that matters and which will ensure that thousands of Ghanaian businesses can ride on it and export significantly into the African continent, thereby boosting local economic activity, our growth, jobs, and earnings. So go at it and don't be held back by the hurdles that may come your way. To the Ghanaian private sector, your government is working through this and other initiatives to make it relatively easier for you to get access to this large market in Africa so that you can trade more goods and services out. Yours is to take advantage of it and collaborate with us to resolve any teething challenges that may come up. But no matter the nature of the challenges, be resolved to work with us hand in hand to make this work. It is in our national interest to not take this window of opportunity lightly. In conclusion, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me reiterate Mr. President's pledge to mobilize the required financial and technical resources to assist Ghanaian businesses to take full advantage of the AFCFTA. It is a pleasure of His Excellency the President to declare the National AFCFTA Policy Framework and Action Plan for Boosting Trade in Africa duly launched.